Are you tired of getting no bitches? Do you want to be in a girl's house? Well, I can't help you with the bitches part. However, I will teach you how to get into a girl's house. Do you know how? By getting into a girl's sleepover. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to get into a girl's sleepover. All right, so law three of this book, A 48 Laws of Power, is to conceal your intentions. We're, we're gonna use the decoy objects of desire and, and smoke screens to disguise your actions. Now, the smoke screen. Let's talk about the smoke screen first. As you can see, concealing your intentions using a smoke screen. Yeah, yeah, it's very straightforward. But in a way, it can help us get into a girl's sleepover. Because if we act gay, if we act gay to get into a girl's sleepover, then um bam, you're directly in the girl's sleepover. And they don't bat an eye. Now now now, I'm going to the decoyed objects of desire. Now this is how you throw people off your scent, aka concealing your intentions. So according to this book, it says to hide your intentions, not by closing up, but talk about your A desires man who and goals. Loves to play with boys. <laughs> now I'm not talking about like you know your real goals. You're gay. Remember that. You're gay. Remember that. Okay. So your goal. Your concealed goal is to get a man. But your real goal is to get some, to, to be in a woman's uh, sleepover. All right, law four, always say less than necessary. Now, you shouldn't keep saying that you're gay constantly because they'll know something is up. Now, we gotta act gay because actions speak louder than words. You get what I'm saying? So if we act gay, no one bats an eye. No one. 